the House of Silk Traders, La Lonja de la Seda de Valencia. This was a trading house for silk merchants, known as La Lonja. It was built over 15 years. The entire complex was completed in 1533. At that time, Valencia was a thriving hub of Mediterranean trade. The city's silk industry was an important contributor to that. Valencia was renowned for its silk production. This is a mulberry tree. In those days, most farmers in Valencia raised silkworms, which fed on mulberry leaves. One of those farmhouses remains, and today, it's a museum. Silkworms were raised in about 80 nearby villages, producing the sought-after raw material for Valencia's silk traders. But silk traders needed a suitable place to conduct their business. La Lonja de la Seda is an imposing building constructed in Gothic style. The decoration of the building resembles a royal crown. It symbolizes wealth and power. This is the main hall. The spiral columns and the ceiling are made to look like palm trees and silk thread bunches, representing a paradise on earth. The floor is made from Italian marble. This box was used as a safe in those days, and inside it were kept cash, jewelry, and promise notes. This is the stairway, lacking both handrails or a central pillar. It shows a certain audacious side to the wealthy silk merchants. This meeting room also has interesting stereoscopic floor patterns. There's even a room that was used for settling trade disputes. When traders disagreed, arbitration took place here instead of the case going to court. The Latin text written on the wall of the main hall of La Lonja de la Seda says, negotiate truthfully, keep your word, and do not lend money to gain excessive interest. The merchant who acts in this way will not only gain wealth and prosper, but live joyfully throughout his life.